Hello friends, hope you're all doing great. Welcome to today's video where we're going over even more leaks and rumors in regards to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It's been a few days since I was able to get a video uploaded to keep up with all of the recent leaks that we've had, but we'll cover everything in today's video and we've got some really interesting things to go over. So as we've got so much to cover today, let's not hang about and get straight into it. We're gonna hop over onto Twitter as we normally do and have a look at what Riddler Ku has been putting out recently. So he's been putting out a number of things like I say uh, kind of surmised in this tweet here well topics for today are three different things the schedule poll result an amendment and a puppy so like I say a few things to go over for us to get caught up with everything so the first thing is the scheduled poll result which he tweeted out and this relates directly to an image that we actually covered in our last video about the Fue Coco's final evolution with the the picture the image here you can see of the crocodile with the the, the rooster sitting on its head. Now this has been tweeted out again by Cube with a bunch more information on it, a lot of Chinese imagery and some kind of choice words as well. So we're using Picoso's, um image here where he's blocked out the kind of choice words that we're not going to show on the channel. Um, but he has kindly translated these as well for us. So you can see here is the image that we were talking about. Uh, the translations are chicken, pheasant, Z chicken, four chickens and white dragon chicken. So all related into like chicken and then the crocodile with the head image and this is the image relating to that scheduled poll results so this is relating directly to Fui Coco's final evolution and um, so Pocozo goes on to say this is my best guess of course we need someone who speaks Chinese to translate it better four chickens could mean it stands on four legs answering its first poll uh, white dragon chicken seems too specific this definitely relates to Fui Coco's evo to a chicken but how um, and then we've got Yoridin, another leak analyst, breaking this down a little bit further. I believe the rooster on the crocodile's head answers all of the poll's questions. It's tailed, bipedal, has the comb to emphasis on the hair, and he covered it with the names. I think it is associated with having a dumb face, which makes a lot of sense as well. And then Pocoso kind of surmises it even further. Uh, Fue Coco being a cockatrice seems too direct, which I agree with. I think the the... The cockatrice is kind of more like Coriadan because that is very, very relatable to what a cockatrice is, that kind of dragon uh, rooster sort of thing. So I don't think it's going to be that direct. I do agree with Pocoso here. Still thinking about what Eclipse said relating to a zombie plus the Bon Skull mask, which makes a lot of sense. So Eclipse, another leaker in the community, did put out a, a tweet about it being kind of a zombie kind of final evolution. So with the skull mask, could make a lot of sense there. If we had to recycle something like a chicken rooster, it needs to be its crest. So possibly, I think if we go back to the image, here we can have a look I would have said personally it's gonna be like on four legs the crocodile kind of depicts that image here and then it's gonna just have that rooster kind of influence to it uh, maybe a bit like Karai done with the the kind of head piece thing going there but who knows uh, hopefully we get some more information soon but it looks like that's kind of the end of this kind of leak here where with Fue Coco's final Evo gonna be a rooster slash uh, crocodile kind of evil um, but we did talk about that in our last video now the other things to mention in this video is an amendment this is the other tweet that that Ku put out so the three things that he's gonna put out the next one that he put out was an amendment and this is kind of interesting here because this was the tweet that he put the amendment in relating to so all going in order as he's written it the amendment was a picture of pseudo now i don't think directly it's going to mean pseudo but he's probably referring to something that he's mentioned before so pseudo if we break it down is a rock type pokemon trying to mimic a grass type pokemon so maybe something that ku's mentioned in the past uh, in a past leak where he's talking about maybe referencing a rock type pokemon actually is a grass type Pokemon so that's the amendment that's kind of what the, the the theory is around this amendment so what it is in relation to we don't exactly know yet but it is something relating to something that he's already talked about it could be maybe small of that he's mentioned um, that is a grass type maybe that is the rock type maybe in its final Eva who knows you can kind of relate uh, an olive it has a stone in the middle of it a stone is kind of 
also a rock. Um, so maybe a small of final evo or one of its evos because it is theory that it's going to get a split evo, a male and a female. Maybe the male gets a rock typing evo and the female gets the grass typing and that's the amendment there. Or it could relate to something like the object mon as well. It has been theory that the object mon, the coin Pokemon that we've talked about before, uh, is a grass and a steel type. So that could be what it's referring to. But like I say, right now, who knows? But that is what the amendment is referring to referring to at the pseudo and um, obviously it is a tree Pokemon as well so that is kind of technically an object Pokemon so there is a link there between this maybe and the object Pokemon but let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this I would love to hear what your theories are around the amendment kind of link what you think pseudo Wodo has in relation to it I don't think it's a direct reference to pseudo Wodo getting a regional form though in these games I think that's too obvious uh, so I don't actually think Sudowodo is going to be the Pokemon that he's referring to. I think it's referring to the amendment, the mimicking kind of law around Sudowodo and that kind of grass rock typing that's there or some other alteration between a typing that something's trying to be and it's not or it is vice versa you know. So let me know down in the comment section would love to hear your thoughts on it and then we'll move on to the third post here which is a uh, so we've got the, the poll result an amendment and a puppy so the puppy reference is actually this post here which links back to a previous riddle which we've already kind of went through there was three clues to it uh, it's all relating to the object Pokemon and then this was the final image that was put out as you can see here um, we've got 108 keys cell gen 6 P and then at the bottom the text puppy will receive her punishment in the next teaser stay tuned so the next teaser is this one which is of a bread dog um, doggo centro spelled backwards which is the puppy of course and then cut her into slices so this is the punishment I'm guessing it refers to the punishment of the the Pokemon that's been found or the object Pokemon being cut into slices which refers directly back to you know the links to something like the zygote cells the 108 wisps that we've already mentioned here and then them split around the region and that could be the punishment here which relates to having to go around and, and then collect these items and then make the final evo up to to what it is so could it be a could be treasure that's split in around the region that you have to go and collect to make up a treasure chest pokemon potentially I don't know what the dog reference here is though. Puppy is referenced throughout um, Q's tweets. So whether that has any correlation to what he's talking to or not, I don't know. But um, I still like the idea of it being a treasure chest and then maybe because it's sliced, because you can't really slice. I, I mean, you can slice a coin. We've already talked about it in our videos. Pieces of eight, you slice a coin, that makes pieces of it you cut the coin up and that's what they used to do so maybe that is a, a, a direct relation there you know you're slicing a coin to get more out of it which is what they did back in the day and then these pieces of coin or what are scattered around the region to make up a whole coin uh, pieces of it is related and then the whole pirate theory kind of ties into that region Spain Portugal and things like that so it makes a lot of sense so we'll see what comes of that but that is the puppy link here um, uh, which is pretty obvious because it is a dog bread. Um, I think it's more related to cut her into slices, which is what I take away from it. And I do like the idea of it relating to pieces of it, which I'm probably more tied to than what it maybe we, we should be. But I do like the idea of that, obviously linking back to getting a Pokemon, collecting the pieces and getting a final Evo, like a, a treasure chest or something like that. So they are the three kind of things that the coups put out recently um, in relation to. The next thing as well that I just wanted to touch upon quickly uh, which is another tweet that Q put out maybe related to everything um, my Scarlet and Violet walkthrough team starter one object Pokemon one rock type Pokemon and one puppy mon so that is kind of interesting here that he's just putting this out so the object Pokemon could be the coin the rock type Pokemon is the only reference to a rock type that we've had which is if we relate that back to the pseudo 
could be referencing not a rock type Pokemon, but a grass type Pokemon and one puppy Pokemon. So the, the pseudo woulda could also be a reference to a puppy Pokemon as well, but I do feel like it's more about the amendment here. So again, just let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this. If you've got any theories of your own, I'd love to hear them, but it's all related to new Pokemon. So you gotta you remember that this month, June, that we've just come out of was all about new Pokemon. Now getting on to other things in this video, I'm gonna come over to Soul Silver Art again, another really big leak analyst within the community. It looks like this may have been all that YouTube Visit the Region was leading up to, or this is just a filler poll for next week, and the next week we get the Visit SV Region. Uh, still makes sense to me. So this is all relating back to uh, the every week we saw Pokemon uh, YouTube shorts, schedule posts, visit Kanto, visit Johto, so on and so on. And it was theoried that we'll get up to the final week, which was the this past week, which had been the 20th, 29th, where we get the announcement of Scarlet and Violet, which run up. But instead of that, we got a poll on the YouTube channel asking what your first Pokemon region you explored was, instead of revealing the region as we expected. So I just wanted to touch on this quickly because it was something that I was totally expecting to happen. Uh, it didn't come to, to any fruition. So hopefully we can maybe get something next week, but maybe not. Um, it could indicate that because of a lot of the, the, the Nintendo Direct Mini and other th announcements this week, Pokemon kind of like to distance themselves and have their own space for their announcements, which could mean that they're waiting for the coming week to potentially put out a new trailer uh, and the announcement of the region. So I'm expecting we will get something very soon. Maybe this is the reason why they're just putting off a week so they've got a bit more breathing space to have a lot more attention on what they're announcing rather than have it all amongst the the direct mini and things like that so it could make sense again let me know what your thoughts are on this and then the final thing that we're going to cover today is the last leak riddle from ku so this is the last thing that he put out just p d y and what could it mean he goes on to say if i add vowels you would know what i mean but won't lol so if you add vowels into this combination here you're gonna get what what he is referring to and remember here soul silver art goes on to think for everyone thinking this is payday or meowth it's july the first if i'm not mistaken every single first of the month coup posts his riddle for the theme of that month july's theme is confirmed character so this is 99% a new character, not a new Pokemon or form, which I 100% agree with. We are when he posted this in July, so it indicates and relates directly back to that uh, the character reference, which is this is all about. Um, this was then followed up by uh, Danny. Um, the only English word I can come up with otherwise is a padai, which has to do with bot. So maybe this. Uh, this is gym leader symbol looks kind of like a boat to me so they're referring to this kind of image down here um, which if you you add in the vowels padai is what you could get which kind of resembles this image down here which could relate to a gym leader and I think this ties in quite nicely to if we go back to a previous sneak peek riddle that Koo put up you can see here gym leader uh, related teaser one gym leader related teaser two so he's got these lined up ready to go these gym leader te teasers which ties in perfectly to this so i think the new character the new riddle uh, that we've got here is all about a gym leader potentially or something regarding gym leaders in the new region so yeah let me know down below what it is i have no idea whether it's a character that is a gym leader or a character that has something to do with the gym leader um, maybe a past character that we've seen in the games. It'll be interesting to see where this goes, but this is the first riddle that Ku's put out for this month for this new theme, which is characters. And you've got to say that he's already kind of hinted at the kind of the gym leaders here, Elite Four as well down there, and the tie-in to the the pad eye which it might not even be referencing but the tie into that if that is the hint makes a lot of sense for it to be a gym leader so we should be getting some gym leader news i would imagine in the coming days so we'll cover that as and when um ku puts anything else out on the uh, on his twitter so yes that about wraps everything up today friends 
Just a bit of a catch up today because we're going to talk about the Fue Coco's final evolution. Um, obviously, it is that going to be a crocodile rooster. If we get any more information about that, then we can cover that as and when. But I think we covered a bunch of that in the last video. It's interesting to go back to the object Pokemon as well and look at potentially even more kind of um, evidence to say that it is going to be a Pokemon that's kind of split up or sliced up. And then you're going to have to do more collecting with the hints that we had from that original post and then the pseudo wodo link as well which is it an amendment or is it a, a puppy pokemon we're kind of guessing at the minute hopefully get some more clues to it at the moment i would be down for a, a pseudo wodo uh, regional form honestly i think it would be really cool especially if it was a grass type which it's always trying to mimic you know that's the whole theory of, of pseudo wodo it's trying to mimic a grass type if that was its regional form that would be kind of cool i think and a big reference but i think it's a bit of a stretch to say that it's directly linked to pseudo wodo because the leak then is way too obvious but maybe that's the point of it but as always do let me know your thoughts down below i would love to hear them and i hope you've got something out of this video today nothing definitive going forward but lots of things to think about as always so let me know your thoughts and i will uh, wrap it up there and we'll hopefully see you for another video very soon friends thank you as always for tuning in if you've enjoyed the video drop a like on it do subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the latest leaks and rumors and we'll be back very soon with another video covering what's coming next so until then friends take care and bye bye